up guys? Uh, today hanging out with the crew, SDX Shins. Romel's right now helping me uh, put on the D2 Racing Springs. We're gonna go ahead and lower the car, at least get it ready for Eibach. Um, over here, after we've taken off the wheel and jacked up the car, uh, for the SIs, we got the sensor. And type bars. For what? And the type bars, because they... Oh, the type bars too, yeah, huh? Because they have the sensor, so. Uh, for that, we're gonna have to go ahead and just unclick out that sensor. You just move this rubber boot off. Use a finger, push down on this tab here, and slide it back. There it is, and then it's held in by a little tab right here. So you just squeeze it and push out, it'll pop right out. So that's step one. And then... Go ahead and get that out. There it is. So as you saw, I just squeeze this, these two sides right here. I just use a pair of needle nose pliers and then push it down and there you go. Awesome. So right now Romel is being a big help. Um, I'm not really knowledgeable in like getting off springs and putting them on. So he's going to go ahead and show me how this is done. So usually in my installs I do it, but it's just going to be me assisting and trying to have Romel show you guys how it's supposed to be done. All right, guys, so I've been kind of on and off with the camera. I'm trying to do this install, um, but it's really hard to record it. I'm going to go ahead and show you some pieces when you're going ahead and taking off uh, your strut with the spring. But basically, there was a bolt here. It's actually here now. We're going to take this off. And then um, just go ahead and remove this out. Put the bolt on it to keep it. Um, after that, what, the next couple things, we're going to have to remove this. Here and uh, <laughs> this right here, this back one, as well as these ones right under here. <laughs> so these, I'm gonna have to breaker bar them out, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get this back one right here. <laughs> and then again, like I said, the side here. So, like I said, it's kind of hard filming this whole thing, but. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it for you guys. <laughs> SDX shines guys over here. Ryan Grace is the accused me of shit. So he's trying to get that clout. He's lying down. He's trying to get that clout. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. You guys are ridiculous. Yeah. You're trying to be low key about it. So also to keep in mind, um, the ones at the bottom, those were size 17, um, and then this top one actually was a, uh, I believe a 14. Yeah, this was a 14. And then this back one is a 10. And just keep in mind, it's this, it's this one right here. Uh, because you want to get at least this away from your wires, so that way when this drops, it's not tugging on your wires here and you're stretching them. Um, so we're going to do that and then we're going to go and take out the side one. And then it should just drop down. We should be good. Um, then we'll just get the ones off, off the top after that, uh, right up here. The center one as well. Take that off. And then, yeah, we already have the other side done, unfortunately. I didn't show that, but I'm just trying to at least show one component at a time. Um, so obviously one for the front and then one for the rear. Uh, so I'm, tr I'm trying to show it as best as I can while I record, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. It's, it's just really hard trying to do it and uh, record it for you guys. Plus they're helping me and showing me too at the same time. So I'm trying to get it for you guys. So now I got it off on the side here. And so now it's just dangling so that way it's not dragged down. Um, again, I just use a 10, this side here. Just gotta get in. Go ahead, you can hand tighten it out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and impact this. This is also a uh, 17 as well. I'll just impact this out. Okay, actually, by the way, do not impact this. Do not impact it out. Um, you just wanna go ahead and grab. Yeah, it strips really easy, so we're gonna go ahead and just like hand get it out. Um, but after that, it should be like better when you get it out. So we'll get that out here. 
There we go. There you go. What happened to your SI? What happened to your SI? What do you mean? Alright. You should be able to finger it now. It'll come out like butter. Boom. Like butter. Done. Be done. So, Alright, here we go. Brute strength part. Go ahead. Combat boot. There it is. So there's that. Said and done. And then now you're just going to hand grip it and wrestle it until it. Wow. Oh, wait. No, it's this one. There you go. And we're out. If I should open my hood. You're going to loosen the top hat nut until it's at the very end. Okay. Then after that, we'll take these. So you're gonna keep going like this, and you're gonna take a peek. All right. Got plenty more thread to go. Got, got mo. Basically, gonna bring it so the nut is flush with the end of the thread. Getting close, maybe just a little hair more. All right, that's good. Right where the nuts flush with the threading. And then we're gonna go ahead and take these off now. Make sure to break all three, and then you can remove two of them completely. And on the last one, you're gonna have to support the oh, actual right. strut from underneath. Well, yeah, so I think you're loosening the, uh, the third last one. Yeah, so this one's gonna be able to get finger loose. So this one. If you have someone here to help you, it's great. I'll just apply, I'll just lift up so you can finger loosen. There. Lower down. And pull that bad boy out. All right. Right here we have a spring compressor. Absolutely required if you're doing a spring install. All right. Mine's power built. I think I picked it up from O'Reilly's about 50 bucks. One time purchase, but it's good forever. So these pins right here, after you line it up on the spring, you push it in to secure it. So it grabs. So as you can see right here, I already have one side on, but we're doing this here for you guys. Pushing the pin, pushing the pin. Now it ain't going anywhere. Tighten this, oops. Tighten this bad boy up. All right. Do little by little on either side. Don't go all the way on one side, otherwise it'll bow. <laughs> and as you can see, now this freely spins. That means you've done it enough. Alright. And if you recall from the last video, we loosened the top hat nut all the way to the end of the thread. So we're gonna swap out to a 17. Make sure you're set up to lefty loosey. Feel it in my hands is going left. Now I do have PTSD from a spring and saw I did on a prelude. So even though I know it's loose enough, I still am paranoid. So I'll wrap it up. Because when this shit pops off, it's pretty explosive. If it does. Make sure there's nothing important behind or in front of it. Because that's what's going to take the front of the damage here. My hand's ready. Move that out of the way. Bam, bolt came out. Everything will disassemble beautifully. There's that piece. And after this point, there's going to be a little, little plastic piece here that looks like an intestine. 
Let's just keep dust yeah, out of the go. strut. If you <laughs> lift up in like three different places, it'll come right off. You can see what's grabbing it are these little, these little hooks. All right, that's it. From here, I'm gonna swap back to this uh, 1516s, still lucky Lucy. Now we're gonna undo the spring compressor. Pull the little securing pins. Why? Come right off. Okay. Now you're just gonna spin this counterclockwise. The last one is they're mirror images. So this front passenger side will be clockwise. But I need to move. There you go. Fix the accordion spring by just going like this. So it's all nice and perfect and not indented anywhere. Take the new spring and it'll be labeled if you're doing a D2. It says FR here, so front right. Obviously we're working on the front right side, or passenger front. And you're going to want to spin it in until it stops. We're going to test fit it on the other side. Whichever side looks more flat, more flush, is going to be the proper side. So it looks like it has a little bit of an angle to me. Stop hitting with the heat This side actually looks perfect. I don't know if the camera catches that. If in the event the bottom boot comes undone, like it did right here, you'll notice these two little, two little, can I say penis? Miniature penises. <laughs> what you do, you stick them in these two holes right there. You can't mess this up. Wait, oh, you have to pull out. Cannot mess this up. Line them up. Pop right in. And as you can see, it's nicely seated. Just take this bad boy. Line it up. Drop it in. Bam. Next up is this. I like to think of corner of the corner I see it. Drop that in. If these two pieces ever become separated, because sometimes it will. Just so you know, the gray side is the portion that touches the top hat, okay? Don't put it in upside down. All black, all black. Now the D2 springs are so short that you will not need a spring compressor for reinstallation, but I do need my 17 millimeter nut. Always hand tighten as much as you can, or at least five turns on the thread before you use any kind of drill. Otherwise, you run the risk of it not being seated properly and you're going to strip the threading. So, tighten it as much as you can, which really isn't going to go that far. It's pretty much going to be flush with the threading, like when we uh, were doing the removal. And uh, you will not be able to tighten that until the struts back in and the car is lowered sitting on the ground again. So, so now transferring over, Romel has just going to gloves again. Oh, put this back in. Um, and then now we're just kind of seating in here, just getting them all hand tightened. I'm just going to lift it up and hand tighten the three bolts or nuts. And then. Got his trusty gloves. About to get this. What I want to show you is this. 
keep an eye on this. Now, even though these are pretty much hand tightened to max, even when you tighten this later, it's not gonna go down much further. So if you're having trouble getting it back into the boot, you actually have play. See that going up and down? And if you don't have an impact wrench later, this is what's gonna cause the knocking sound. Because you won't be able to tighten this with a regular wrench. You need an impact wrench, 17 millimeter. So going back down here, lift up because you have that play and then push down, feed it in. And this portion is always going to be the, the fun part. Uh, not so fun. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of lube. It goes, goes right in, right? Yeah. Woo! See what I mean? A little bit of skill, a whole lot of luck. All right, now we're gonna grab a jack to jack this up. So let's put this up there, and I'll show you a little jiggle trick later. All right, so before we jack this up to get it on the uh, strut there, I'm gonna go ahead and put the three control arm bolts back in. Just hand tighten though. So down low. There's Uno. Dos. Y tres. Perfect. Now. This. Yeah, see, it's working its way up the strut. Now, once it gets near the end, oh, that fell under. Oh, did you hear that, guys? You're just gonna rotate it left and right until you feel it just slip right in. There's a little notch. Now you'll notice it doesn't turn anymore. You can't just freely move it. So it found its little notch, and that is vital because when you reassemble it, the uh, the nut that goes right here to, to grip the strut, you will, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you'll strip it, guaranteed strip it. It's not right here, not right here, or a bolt. You'll see that it'll feed in like butter from just hand tightening. You will literally reach the very end of it, and then you just torque it down. Uh, Next up is going to be your sway bar end link. We threaded this nut on just so we don't lose shit when we do installs. Again, it'll go right in. Actually, I need to lower it. There you go. Uh, you can, you can order it and then just like, you know, that feeds right in. This is a or like, say if you do up your coil, just sell your 12 or 14. I think that one was a 14. <laughs> <laughs> Never, ever, ever use an impact wrench on this one. Okay, so that's in. You got this. Let's do it. Sorry. It's your car, man. It's your car. Yeah. What about the level? What about the level? What about the level? What about the level? Put that little tab back in. Yes. That pops right back in. Make sure you put the rubber boot around it. Prevent any kind of contamination. And then this bracket, this little 10. Alright. There's a little a guide. I don't want to call it a pin, but essentially a guide pin. That way you can't mess this up. Stick in the bolt. Hand tighten. You won't be able to get any kind of impact wrench or anything in here. So, alright, reach the end. You'll have to use one of these little crescent wrenches. Yeah. 
There's two. And three. Now you're gonna wanna torque it in by hand. Ready tidy. That's good. <laughs> All right. All right, we got end link, shut bolt, we got three control arm. Now, oh. to do the top. and we'll tighten all three of these once it's on the ground. So this is it right here, so this is the hangout. We got my car that we're trying to work on. I broke mine, but I never went back. Got the crew out here. The light paint or what? <laughs> this one, huh? Light paint? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, there we go. Out here we're doing emblems. Yes, sir. We're doing multiple installs out here. Wait, did you guys already finish? The fence? Dang, you using your hands? No, they didn't. Great, bro. That's how I don't want to bring hey, should, I, should I pass it in my emblems too? I just because I have the watch. <laughs> Shit. I have the plastic in my trunk. I <laughs> just use his. Yeah, see how I keep my hand <laughs> <laughs> so, so, plastic deep his and then just put it in my But his is already broken though. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> two. D2, here we go. Two inch drop. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so as I was saying earlier, you cannot tighten the top nut for the top hat until it is lowered on the ground. So here we go. Just there she is. Bam, baby. All right, guys, so we got the back end up. We're going to work on the rears now. Um, it's a lot easier than the fronts. And this time, we're going to, instead of a Romel, we're going to have Brian go ahead and explain it. So I'm going to shoot off to him. Hey. Hey, what's up? All right, so you got a 12 mil bolt right here that's connected to your control arm. You remove the 12 mil bolt that's connected to your rear sway bar. And then you also have a 14 mil bolt down right here that you need to remove. This should fall out. Remove the spring. Toss a new one. Bolts it back in. You're all set. Dang. Let's see. She yeah, went dual. No, I just wanted the 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 stock because honestly, it goes with the shape of the car. That's true. Are you just thinking the control line bolt? Right. right. No, it's left. Left. Okay. Just hold it right there. You good? That way you don't fall. <clears throat> like, just look at my Where's fucking it? shoulders and shit, bro. Like, I don't feel like that no more. Oh, I remember. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold this part. When we first oh. met, I uh, fucking shrunk uh, my box. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, oh. that's a little washer there. Make sure oh. It doesn't fall on my face. And then this should f fall. There you go. Now you can lower it. All right. Here we go. Ready? Sending it. Go for it. Wait. Hold up. Oh, don't need to go higher. Put my mallet. This whole fuck. Lower it. Is it funny? Oh, the lights it. keep turning yeah. back on. It takes a bit of finessing, but it's just one of those things. Yeah, it's like just fucking, fucking it's stuck on the right side. Alright, lower it. There you go. Oh, oh shit, sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was too close for comfort. Alright, lower it. Too close for comfort. Alright, yeah. I'll obviously take this one out. Alright, so in this hand here, I've got the D2 rear springs. These are your stalkers. When you set them side by side, it doesn't look like much, but... These are nice and progressive. It'll actually lower it two inches in the rear as well. Now, oops, we're gonna put in our little boot here. Just feed it right in until it stops. There's the top, here's the bottom, same thing. Read the spring through the loop until it stops. Pay close attention to these two little nubs right here. On the bottom uh, spring perch, you're gonna make sure that these feed in so it, it doesn't move around. Yeah. Uh, now, I want to show them those two nubs here. You get the hey, bring the lighting. Get the where's the lighting at? This camera doesn't have good lighting. 
Let me see, let me see, let me see. I ain't got a light though. All right. Uh, where the nubs at? Yeah, the little nubs. There's little nubs there. Where the nubs well, at? Where the little nubs? I'll probably circle them in with editing later. Is, is it this one? These two? Right I mean, you can figure it out just by... These two mini nubs? I'm pretty sure it's these two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Alright, so two there's that. Let's seat this again. Alright. Center that. Lift up. Look, this is jammed on this part right here. Yeah. Well, we'll fix that by pure brute strength, which is again is going to come from using the lift. The jam. Oh. Flex on me too much. I go for it, raise it. Oh, you should be good. Yeah, you're good. We're in? Uh, yeah. Keep going up. Keep going up. Keep going. Alright, stop. You can probably rubber melon it at some yeah. point. Yeah, alright, you're good. I feed it in. I'm just kind of fucking. Not, not all the way in. What you do is. Give yourself leverage. Where's the ring? You, put, this, this you just put in the tip and then. Whoa. See? See how I centered that? I don't know if the camera caught it, but it should be lined up perfect right now. Oh, that shit. Bad. Oh, really? Yeah. That was? Yeah. What, what's the brand? RV6. Oh, it's pretty bad because it won't handle the food, dude. This talk is on tight right now. Really? Yeah. Righty tighty. A lot of people have to upgrade. Do you really want that performance? No. Yes. There it is. I'm gonna go FA. Something. <laughs> All right. 300, bro. 300? After Five? driving. Rear passenger out. side is done. Three Torque three. it in. Wait, which one's like the lightest? Is lower. Probably gonna be lower. <laughs> Gangster. Oh. 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 <laughs> 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 huh? Oh, that's perfect, dude. Fuck. Oh. Why does it look a little bit like that? <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat it? Oh yeah. Oh, it with that cloud. Like, Ooh. Face hella cloudy. Hella cloudy with my. Cloudy. <laughs> Actually, I got a rag. Out. Oh my god, are you just in that case? Yeah. All that cloud. <laughs> Don't let this face fool you. Saint Ives facial scrub. Vaseline lotion. Every day you're good. <laughs> <laughs>